welcome back to Jot's Shop. This video will show us finishing up the initial engine work on the original 1960 F100 223 inline 6. We'll test the water pump and see if there's any critter stuff in that engine cooling jacket. Install a new thermostat and install a new radiator. We'll then test the new cooling system and finally, after the engine runs for a while, we'll do a new compression check. First, we'll remove the old thermostat. We remove the fan even though it doesn't need to be removed to get to the thermostat housing. Once the fan was removed, it was easy to get to the two bolts that hold the thermostat housing on. Once the housing's off, the original thermostat can be seen. It appears to us that this is the original thermostat from the factory. We'll clean the inside of the crusty housing a bit later. To test the water pump and flush the cooling jacket, we reinstalled the housing without the thermostat. We'll move it outside to do our water pump testing. Before starting the engine, we should have asked ourselves, did we forget anything? Yep, we forgot to put the fan back on. After reinstalling the fan, we'll pour water into the lower hose. That water will then go into the water pump. If the pump's working, the water will go through the engine's cooling jacket and out the upper radiator hose. Let's start the test. Looks like the pump's working and it's flowing through the cooling jacket. The water flowing out seems to be pretty clean. We captured some of the water and it looks like it's pretty clear. Just a bit of antifreeze in it. Now we'll put the cooling system back together. We need to add the thermostat back in. We took the thermostat housing off and we cleaned it up. We used a wire wheel to clean up all the surfaces and also inside the housing. The housing can be a template for our new gasket. We'll use an old trick of using a ball peen hammer to quickly get the general gasket outline and cut out the various holes. It's not the prettiest in the world, but it should be functional. We got a new 185 degree thermostat. Use some gasket sealer number two to install it. We put a thin layer on both sides of the gasket. We also ensured that the thermostat was put in the right way. The short end of the thermostat always points towards the radiator hose and the long end goes into the engine.
In a previous video, we showed that our original radiator wasn't in great shape. So we purchased a new aluminum three-row radiator from Champion Cooling Systems. We installed the new radiator on our temporary supports, installed the new hoses, and then filled it with water. There's no real reason at this time to use antifreeze. Now it's time to check out our system. We pushed it outside, started it up, and started taking some temperature readings around the engine. We wanted to ensure that the new thermostat opened up as the engine heated up. We let the engine run until it ran out of the gas that we had in our temporary gas tank. Here's a summary of the engine temps after our engine had warmed up. The upper radiator hose was warm and the water was cooler as it returned from the radiator. Exhaust manifolds all got hot and the valve covers were warm. On the passenger side of the engine, the engine block and oil filter were both warm. And these are the temperatures on the cylinder head. After our successful engine test, we made a cover for our fragile aluminum radiator. Using our floor winch, we moved the truck back into the shop. A link to the video showing our shop winch install is in the description below. Back in the shop, we wanted to do a, another compression check. We needed to see if any of our readings got better after running the engine for a good amount of time. We pulled all the plugs, then used our compression gauge. As the chart shows, most of our readings did increase. Number four, which was very low previously, went up a lot. Here's a look at the new spark plugs we put in. Number five had lots of oil on it. We'll have to figure out what to do about that in the future. So now that our engine is running and cooling itself, we'll continue with other parts of the truck. We'll work on the brake system, the clutch hydraulic system, and also determine next steps for the gas tank. That's all, folks, and thanks for watching. There's more videos to come on the truck. Leave a comment if you want, and remember, it's free to subscribe. Bye-bye.